Hello and welcome to the session on basics of algebra. This is brought to you by Anda Kafanda. Let us look at a few basic algebraic equations. Say a polynomial in x or an algebraic equation in x has two roots a and b. Then the equation is given by x square minus sum of the roots a plus b into x plus the constant term would be the product of the roots. If it has three roots a, b and c then it would be x cube minus a plus b plus c or sum of the roots individually with a negative sign into x square plus the roots multiplied with each other two at a time that is a, b, b, c and c a into x minus the product of the roots a, b, c. If the equation has four roots a, b, c and b in that case let's look at it what it will be. It would contain a term x to the power 4 for obvious reasons minus the sum of the roots a, b, c, b taken one side at a time will be the coefficient of x cube plus a, b, a, c, a, d, b, c, b, d, c, d. Sounds complicated but think about it this is nothing else but sum of the roots taken two at a time and it forms the coefficient of x square minus a, b, c, a, b, d, b, c, b and a, c, d. What are these? These are sum of the roots taken three at a time with a negative sign and x plus the product of the roots which is a, b, c, d. Think about it. What is actually happening here? In all the first terms x square x cube x to the power 4 that had to do with number of the roots. If the number of roots was 2 this was 2. Number of roots was 3 this was 3. Number of roots was 4 it was x to the power of 4. Then the next term always starts with a minus. Minus. Then the next one with a plus. Then minus. In this one minus plus minus plus. So that is the pattern which will occur always in an algebraic equation with four roots, three roots or n roots. The coefficient of the next highest term, uh, term or the variable with the next highest part is sum of the roots taken one at a time. Then sum of the roots taken two at a time. Then sum of the roots taken three at a time. Then the product. So let us look at the comprehensive equation or the general form in this case. That is considering an equation which will have n roots a1, a2, a3 till a n. In that case, the first term will be x to the power n minus sum of the roots taken one at a time x roots taken two at a time x to the power n. Then again minus sum taken three sum of the roots taken three at a time. Next one would be plus sum of the roots taken four at a time. Next one will be minus sum of the roots taken five at a time. And this would go on and on till the last term which would be a constant and the constant term would be minus 1 to the power n into whatever is the product of the roots which in this case would have been a1 into a2 into a3 till a n. That wraps up the session on basics of algebra. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.